to get into a very cloudy, cool, rainy weather as we get into this weekend and even into next week, too. A lot of people also asking what's Thanksgiving going to look like. For now, it looks like it will be dry, but that's still very far out, so we can't get there quite yet. We will yet. not need them this afternoon, so it's an absolutely great day to layer with all the warm clothes in the morning and then for warm temperatures later today, so it's going to be quite different. Malibu right now, we have mostly clear skies. It's about 46 degrees. It's also cold there. All right, where is this bomb cyclone? Where is the it's atmospheric good. river? Where Make is sure the storm? Like, it's still kind of in the same spot as yesterday, continuing to dump rain for areas of northern California. California continuing on kind of almost exactly where it was yesterday south and then we will start to see our chances for rain as early as late Friday night probably more so as we get into uh, Saturday so we're going to time it all out for you that's going to take us even into the beginning of next week with a little bit of a rainy pattern here all right Mark I'll send it back to you okay Brianna I know it is so cold out there this morning so we're going to have a nice shift from this morning to this afternoon and enjoy it because then we're going to get into several days of some much cooler weather so today uh, as your last kind of warm afternoon tomorrow will be cooler but still nice and mild and then we get into a while of just some much cooler temperatures Live Mega Doppler 7000 HD shows all the watches and warnings from the bomb cyclone in that atmospheric river, bringing all this rain to areas of um, northern California. The storm is going to be much different up there He's compared to down here Make because sure it is going like, to start to dissipate subscribe. a bit as it reaches southern California. Temperatures are cold out there again. We're down to 24 degrees in Lancaster, 27 in Palmdale, 34 chilly in Victorville, and then won't be that way in a couple days because this is all going to start to affect us. So you can see here on our satellite that subtropical jet that's bringing some of this rainfall. They're helping to bring some of this rainfall into northern California. Eventually, this is going to get continue to drop south, and then we're going to get kind of the remnants of what this storm is for northern California. So as we head into your Friday, you can see it's still continuing to bring a lot of rain to northern California. So it's several days of just dropping rainfall in this area of the state. Then it starts to move its way down, and sometime between Friday night and Saturday morning, that's when we should start to see some rain here for Southern California. Now, rain total projections for now are looking like they're anywhere from a quarter to three quarters of an inch as we head into this first round. And then there's going to be a second impulse. So Saturday, we're expecting some rain throughout the day. And then as we head into your Sunday, most of Sunday looks to be dry. We should still have some probably spotty showers. And then Sunday night into Monday, that's going to be the second impulse as we take you into Monday. And then we could have some light leftover showers even into Tuesday and then Wednesday. Past that, Thanksgiving's looking dry, but we still have a ways to go to get there. And then this weekend, really cool. You can get the winter clothes out. We're going to stay in the low 60s with some wet. A little warmer for the Antelope Valley tomorrow while the rest of us are cooling off. And then we'll get even cooler into this weekend. A little less rain there for some of those spots, too. All right, Mark.